Welcome back here at 618 and our 17 newsmakers. You may have noticed a lot of extra mosquito bites lately, especially concentrated around your ankles and your legs. That's because there is one mosquito species that's been very aggressive this year, and it doesn't appear to be going away anytime soon. Joining us more this morning to talk a little bit about this issue, La Tau with Kern Mosquito and Vector Control. Good morning. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. So I live up in Tehachapi, and uh -huh. when we started coming back down for daycare and work, uh -huh. um, my kids were eaten up all oh. over their <laughs> legs and ankles. Same with uh -huh. my husband. I've heard the same thing, uh, complaints from so many people, uh -huh. um, including Alex and Kevin. <laughs> what is this mosquito and why is it we're seeing it so much more? Okay, so this mosquito is called the ADC Egyptian mosquito. It's also known commonly as the yellow fever mosquito. Um, this mosquito likes to bite during the day, all day long, and we're seeing them more because they've become established here in Bakersfield, Bakersfield unfortunately. Um, it's, it's a very difficult mosquito to control with the fact of um, its breeding habitats. They breed in cryptic sources, so anything that's small that can hold a tablespoon of water uh, for a few wow. days, they will lay their eggs in there and develop. Um, they develop rather quickly if the weather is correct. Um, so with that, um, the reason why we're seeing it a lot more is there's a lot of sources that are unseen. Um, we are doing our best to go out there and, and check the sources as best as we can and then uh, try to control the mosquito population. And Alex was asking, is there certain areas of town that this is happening more in? Because, you know, he doesn't see it so much in the northwest, but we know mm -hmm. like northeast and central Bakersfield, a lot of reports are coming in. Um, we're seeing it throughout Bakersfield okay. pretty much. And even in the outlying areas, for example, Arvin, uh, Shaft, or Wasco, we are seeing them um, throughout Kern County, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there anything that you can do to help out around your own home or workplace if this is a problem? Yes, we always advise, um, suggest our the residents to kind of take care and police their own yards. Uh, if you have any standing water, dump it out. Uh, with this mosquito, you have to scrub out containers because the egg laying dust can up to years if it's laid right on the container. So we encourage residents to um, scrub the containers, dump any standing sources, and if it's something that they can't um, do for themselves, give us a call and we'll come out there and treat the sources. And what should you do just to keep them biting you while you're, you know, going about your work day? Uh, we always advise to um, use repellent. Um, that's the best way to prevent mosquito bites. Uh, with this mosquito, it's really aggressive, so they will come after you often. So you're going to have to reapply that repellent. Wow often. Really? Yes. <laughs> and you're saying the best defense is a repellent with DEET? Yes, with DEET. DEET will be the best repellent. Um, there's other active ingredients such as picaridin and uh, natural mm -hmm. ingredients, but like I said, it's going to have to be constant reapplications. Okay, if yeah. you're using those certain yes. ones. Okay. Uh -huh. And you know, you said this is also known as the yellow fever mosquito. That's, yes. that's kind of scary. What does that mean? Can you, what can you get from this mosquito? So this mosquito is capable of carrying yellow fever, Zika, chikungunya, and dengue, but luckily we don't have that here in the state oh, okay. of California nor in Kern County. Um, they are a vector, but we don't have the diseases. Okay, so mostly it's just the annoyance yes. of these oh, sorts yes. of pests. <laughs> when do we expect them to kind of go away for the um, winter or fall? So when the weather cools down, they should start slowing down. Um, let's, we're thinking about October, they will slow down. Oh. Um, but with how well they've been they've established here in Kern County, they most likely will come back up um, early spring next year. All right, so everyone just needs to be vigilant. Yes, everyone needs to be vigilant and do their part. <laughs> All right, La Tau with the Kern County Mosquito and Vector Control. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank we appreciate you. you. Thank you for having me. <laughs>